The president, Federation of Muslim Women's Associations in Nigeria, Form 1, Hajia Halima Jibril, has everything it takes to be called an honest woman, known for her exemplary integrity. Born into the royal family of Patagi in Niger State, the former director of program services in Niger State Broadcasting Service was raised in a communal setting that ensured a homely attitude towards others in her environment. She says her father brought her and her siblings up, 23 of them in all, to respect virtues that are threatened in present-day living. Hers was a father who gave equal attention to the boys as well as the girls in the family. Hajia Halima recalls an instance when her father cautioned her when she came third in her class examination at Missionary Secondary School in Bidda. It never happened again. She led her class for the rest of her secondary education and actually made grade one in the school certificate examination a record in the school. What is her definition of integrity? A life of honesty, mm. consistency in upholding the values of honesty, accountability, hard work, you know, and doing good to others. Hajia Halima considers that there is no alternative to a life of integrity and goes on to list some of the challenges she has faced in the pursuit of a life worthy of emulation. For instance, when I was a civil servant, and um, my principle is zero tolerance for corruption. I will not inflate prizes for anything. I will not allow myself to be used to do anything like that. To the extent that even though I was a senior member of the management, sometimes I will be sidelined. <laughs> yes, I will be sidelined because, uh, because I, they know uh, I, I will not um, budge. Yes. Two, I'm also uh, a believer in merit. I don't believe in mediocrity. Mm. If there's a job to be done, get the best qualified person to do it. So uh, in my department, you will not offer me a substandard, you know, staff for a job because I know I will not be getting results. And I cannot live with that. Mm. So I will not allow it. In a situation where the question is not if there will be an abuse of process and standards, but the volume of the infraction that would happen, Hajia Halima must have faced an uphill task. She recalls a specific instance when she was head of programs at the former Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria in Mina. In fighting corruption, <laughs> I, I have lost some money because I refuse to give bribes. Yes, I, I did some work somewhere and because I'm not playing ball, I, I, in fact, I had to come out openly to say, look, uh, as a civil servant, I, I never concord mm. to issues of corruption. Mm. Now in my old age, it's not the time to ask me, you know, to take part in um, corrupt corruption, practices. corrupt practices. So it's either you allow me to continue with the work or you take your job and I go back home. Meeting Hajia Halima is an experience worth preserving. One of the ways that happens is getting her to advise young persons in particular on how to stay focused and lead a life they would be proud of. It's important to know that money is not everything. In fact, integrity can buy you much more than money can buy for you. I have been at several jobs. I have been all over the world. I have traveled extensively, not with my Naira and Kobo, but as a result of integrity. Uh, I have come across people 
who after uh, uh, several years after I have left office, once they meet me, you know, they will remind me about what in the way in which I touch their lives. Most of these things I myself I have forgotten, but because it lives in the hearts of others, that goes a long way to tell you that integrity pays. Money is not everything. Sometimes you wake up um, without money, but because you have faith, God supports you. Hajia Halima has friends who eagerly comment on her character. She is a very upright lady. She is very principled. She is very humble and very honest. Uh, hardly would any person come in contact with her that uh, she will not positively influence and impart on that person. She is a woman of integrity. She is one person, if she tells you yes, she will stand by the yes. If it's no, she will stand by that no. Through thick, through thin. Hajia Halima has obviously been living a quiet but highly noticeable life of integrity. Many persons have received her impact. She is still doing more to raise the Human Development Index in her own way.